Great to have all of you with us for episode number 131, featuring a gorgeous 1968 Ford Torino GT. You'll love the accurate restoration done on this stunning muscle car that checks all of the boxes that people are looking for in a collectible vintage high performance car. Enjoy this one and leave a comment. We appreciate all of our viewers, subscribers and friends and thank you for a very successful 2021. We're looking forward to bringing you many more great cars along with their owner stories in the coming new year. Now let's go for a ride. Don Ganey from uh, Glendale, Arizona. Uh, lived in Phoenix since 1970 and I've owned this uh, Torino since 1969. Uh, this car, I went back and did some research on it and it was built in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, it was released from there in September uh, 5th of 1967 and it was shipped to uh, Brush Motors Incorporated, a uh, dealer in um, Midbury, Vermont. Middlebury, I'm sorry. And uh, it was sold on September 25th, 1967. I was in the Air Force at uh, David Moth, Davis Moth and Air Force Base in, in Tucson, Arizona, and I purchased the car on June 27th, 1969. And as far as I can tell, I'm the second owner. Uh, the car had 24,000 miles on it when I purchased it, and uh, never was able to fill the gap of how it got to Tucson from Vermont. Uh, I was discharged in March of 1970, moved to Phoenix, and the car has been in Arizona. Uh, and I've owned it ever since then. Uh, after purchasing the car, uh, it was driven until about 1991, and then it was garaged July 2013. Um, this is when I started the restoration project. Um, this, the car was stripped totally inside and out. I removed uh, uh, the rear end and for painting, installed a spare one to have a rolling chassis. Uh, I went through the uh, Plasti bead media process. In early September of 2013, uh, the engine was delivered to Jim Mueller at Iron Horse uh, Services in Glendale, Arizona, for rebuilding. It is a it's a 390 GT engine. It was bored 30 over. Uh, all internal parts were replaced with stock OEM parts. Pistons were dished and enlarged. Um, to reduce the compression ratio so we could run 91 pump octane gas. Um, the original compression ratio was uh, 10 and a half to 1 and it's now 9 and a half to 1. Uh, the car was delivered to Bob Alexander at R&B Collision in Glendale in late September 2013. Um, the body was in good shape. Uh, no sheet metal uh, had to be replaced or anything so that's all the original metal on the car and everything. Um, the, it was primed and completed. It's a unibody car, but we did put it on a rotisserie and do underneath the chassis. Uh, the, the body and everything was painted underneath and um, all the suspension work was redone. The leaf springs were re-arced. All that's original equipment in there except for underneath the uh, uh, A-frames and all bushings and all that kind of stuff. In 2014, October is when I picked the car up and then it took me a while to get my engine back from rebuilding and in the meantime I have a junk car that I took and uh, it had an AC, factory AC in it and I removed that from the junk car and installed in this car. It's still running on R12. Uh, it's all basically original and it was completed in November of 2018 and ever since then I've just been driving it. Uh, all the local car shows, I don't drive long distances and stuff, you know, but I'm trying to protect it. <laughs> so that's, and it's just my, my just fun driver now. I enjoy taking it out to car shows. Most thing I enjoy is <clears throat> going to car shows and meeting people and talking to people. You get to uh, meet a lot of different people and learn a lot of different things. Uh, you meet a lot of people that say, you know, oh, I had one of these, I knew somebody had one, and they said, I wish I'd have kept it. Well, I'm one of the lucky ones that I kept mine. And, um, but it's, it's just fun to meet people. You get to know a lot about people, and it's just, I'm, I'm really a conversationalist, and I like to talk to people and have a good time. Prager Street Pros, uh, uh, the 
that's what they are. But I think it says, no, it doesn't say Keystone on the cap, it says Krager. Those are original door panels on the interior. Everything is original, except for the dash. Sunlit gold. Yeah. And that's the original color the car came with. That was my daily driver. That was my I did everything in it, you know, and I drove it back and forth work when I worked at Luke Air Force Base and all that kind of stuff and I used to tow my boat to the lakes with it and everything and I guess the most funniest story was kind of <clears throat> I went cross country and um, my mom had never been to Arizona and I picked her up and we were coming back and uh, I didn't have a lot of money at the time so we first night we stopped because this was coming from South Carolina and we stopped and stayed in the hotel and I said yeah, I can't afford a hotel all the way to going there to here so that we left there. I don't remember where we were. All I know is I, I told my mom, I said, well, you're gonna have to get in the back seat and take a nap. I said, I'm going to Tucson. And so we drove all the way through and my mom slept in the back seat part of the way. And Thanks for watching our final episode for the 2021 year. And thanks to you guys, we've successfully completed 131 episodes so far and have many other great cars and their owner stories coming in 2022. We post a new video every Sunday morning and occasionally have special edition videos on Thursdays. Join us next Sunday as we kick off the new year with a beautifully resto modded 66 Ford Fairlane 500 hardtop. Happy New Year and all the best to you and your loved ones. And remember, please be careful out there.